Broom broom. Today we'll be doing Aug Vape to V200. Let's go. My name is Vape Chilla, your average Pinoy Vape reviewer, and today we'll be doing Aug Vape's V200 mod. Now right off the bat we can tell that this is based on the B18CR engine, also known as the original Type R engine. So any of you car enthusiasts out there, you might want to get this. But wait, let's hear the pros and cons later. Anyways, quick specs. The mod has three modes, as regular wattage mode, bypass, as well as V mode. Now I was kind of surprised that this mod didn't support temperature control, but I don't know. I think temperature control might be a minority nowadays. Wattage mode goes from 5 to 200 watts. Bypass will obviously be about 4.2 volts. And V mode has supposedly a faster ramp up time. However, I have a couple notes on that later. So the button is located right here. You can't actually see it, so it looks kind of sleek. To scroll through your wattage, you just flick this thing. It is 87.5 millimeters tall, 45 millimeters wide, and 29.2 millimeters thick. Here's how it vapes. Pretty strong. I also forgot to mention it is a dual 18650 variable. So that pretty much covers it for specs. Let's get to the close ups. Alright, so here we have the packaging for the V200. Now, I'll give Ogvape a 10 out of 10 for the packaging. It looks freaking amazing. And as you'll see in a bit, it is quite high quality. So we got the name Ogvape right here V200 mod, authentication code, and what the box includes. You open the box from the bottom, open the tabs, which are hard plastic, pull out this little box. Let's have a quick look at the box. It's both used to keep the user manual and cable, but also to keep the mod in place. Pull out the user manual. So far, this is the best looking charge cable I've ever seen. All right, so let's get back to the mod. Let me just pull the mod carefully out of here, and here we go. All right, so since the mod is white, I'm just gonna put a background on this. Just gonna use my sample box cloth, shameless plug. All right, so check this out. I got the white one. However, it comes in type R red and black. You can see it strongly resembles an engine block from Honda. Here's the top of the mod, which highly resembles the new rims on the new Type R from Honda. So that's pretty cool. On the back it says inspired by B18CR. Here's what the full mod looks like. Here's the bottom. The batteries go in a series configuration. Before I show you the menu, I gotta say that the firing button is right here. Ogvape designed it to be concealed. And this thing right here can control the wattage. It feels like it's spring loaded. You can adjust the brightness pressing the power button and the toggle button down and then down again to go back up. There's only two different modes. Clicking up will lock the wattage. Clicking five times will turn off the device. System off, bye. Okay. Clicking it five times will turn it back on. Really quick startup. There is no lock button, so turning it off is the only option. Three clicks will activate the menu. Use the toggle button to select what mode you want. So far we have normal, which is just wattage mode. Bypass, which simulates a mech mod. And V mode, which is faster ramp up, I guess. Hey, I don't know. Ogvape didn't really tell me much. So here's normal mode. The lowest wattage is five and the highest is 200. Here's how long it takes to scroll. As you can tell, it's not exactly quick. Here's bypass mode. And of course, bypass, you cannot select anything. And here's V mode, which to be honest, is exactly like wattage mode. However, you cannot see the volts. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later. But as you can see right here, this is for joules. Now, I'm not quite sure why it's being measured in joules. But yeah, this is what V mode is. Separate battery indicators at the bottom. Ohms right here and time. Pretty much the same on bypass, but bypass has watts instead. And normal mode has volts instead. Now, this mod claims that it can fire down to 0.05. Right now, I'm screwing on a 0.06 build on the Phobia RDA. You'll see here it asks you for new resistance or old resistance. We'll pick new, swipe up, or toggle up I guess. And there you have it. It's reading at 0.06. It starts off at 10 watts every time. Not sure why, but now I have to scroll all the way back up. It takes quite a while. Just so you know that it can fire at 0.06. Still reading 0.06 here. Just gonna remove that right there and no problem. All right, so I just want to show you guys what I mean about the jewels. All right, so I'm going to hold this for about a second and you just watch the jewels meter go up. So there, we dragged it for about 1.8 seconds and it equals 220 joules. Now why it's reading joules, I don't know why. Ogvape did not give me a proper reason why they added joules to this. Anyways, this is a really quick close-up section. And that's because this mod is 
pretty basic. It's only got three modes, and the controls are easy. So let's head back up for pros and cons. And we're back for the pros and cons. All right, so first off, there's one thing that I wanna talk about. That's V mode. Now with this mod being based on a Honda engine, I was expecting V mode to be like VTEC. I thought it would have been maybe a curves mode or something. Though all I've been told by Ogvape is that it is faster ramp up. And to be honest, it does feel like there's faster ramp up. However, I've noticed something. Let's say you're using 100 watts in wattage mode. After taking a drag for about two seconds, you feel that the power is up to here. In V mode, when you put it at 100 watts, the power already feels like it's up to here when you start. But after a second, I noticed that it feels like it's actually stronger than the equivalent 100 watts in variable wattage mode. Now, personally to me, V mode sounds like whatever the wattage is set at plus 20. It's not actually a faster ramp up, but I don't know. Ogvape was really vague about V mode. And I was also wondering why does it measure joules? And no, we're not talking about the joule pods. We're talking about joules, the measurement. I think there's no reason why we need to know the joules. So why is it there? Anyways, let's just do these pros and cons. Let's start off with the pros. Number one, if you're a car guy, this is a pretty cool design. I mean, it's a mini engine, that's pretty cool. Also, it fits nicely in the hand. And since we're talking about design, I'm just gonna throw this in there. The firing button is nice too. Number two, this thing is pretty strong. It'll allow you to fire up to 0.05 ohms, which is amazing. Most mods only allow you to fire up to 0.10, but the V200 fires perfectly fine at 0.05. Also, it's got bypass mode. However, I notice it needs less watts than where I'd usually set it at, which could mean it's inaccurate. However, I am not Pibusardo. I don't do the technical side of vaping with the numbers and volts and shit like that. But yeah, what I mean is at two volts, it feels like four volts. You can take that as a con if you want, but to me, it's no big deal. Number three, I'll admit it has a fast ramp up. As soon as you hit that button, it goes. Click. I was gonna say number four, it fires below 0.10, but I've already said that. So let's just move on to the cons. Number one, the biggest con of this mod, the battery door. It's gotta be one of the most sensitive I have ever had. I'm literally just gonna swipe it with my thumb. The first time I noticed this, it was on a desk. And all I did was just put the mod on the desk. All it takes is a little bit of grip and it's gonna come off. And I'm not pressing it as I'm doing this. I'm literally just feeling the mod. Like how you pet a dog, that soft. Number two, changing watts on this mod is pretty slow. As you can see here, I have it set to 120. Let's see how long it takes to get to 80. Finally. It takes roughly three seconds just to go up by 40 watts. There are times where I wanted to change the wattage where I would just click it. Okay, there we go. Like it starts off one by one and then it starts going multiple. I just wish they made it to go a little bit faster. It's just a tad bit too slow. I mean, it's not as bad as the Kanger Spider, right? Wow. I started off at 10 watts and ended at 48. And finally, number three, I've already said it, but why jewels? It just makes no sense. Oh man, I hit 179 joules on that one. Fucking red, man. The formula for joules is power times time. So if you did a three second drag on 100 watts, that would be 300 joules. But why do we need to know this? And the thing is, it's not even accurate at all. Let me try and take a one second drag. Close enough. I hit 1.1 seconds, right? At 100 watts. 1.1 seconds should equate to 110 joules. But this thing's telling me 146. Which if I do 146 divided by 1.1, that's 132 watts. Not 100 watts. I don't know, I just feel like V mode was like the whole hype thing about this mod. Like its whole selling point. Because to be quite honest, I was quite disappointed with V mode. But yeah, sorry for the little rant. Anyways, that's the pros and cons. Here's the bottom line. It's a pretty strong mod and it's fairly reliable. Should you buy the mod? that is up to you if you like the design. I'm sure there's other mods out there that can do just the same but look different. Anyhow, if you're interested in getting a V200 mod, make sure to visit Ogvape's website. Link is down below. If you like this review, make sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you have any more questions or comments about this mod, make sure to comment down below and I will reply. I also have a Facebook and Instagram where I'm posting extra content, so make sure to visit that in the description below. Till next time. Baby,
want to come my way.